I was very disappointed that Abby and Ellie didn't talk about what happened so that they could both get an understanding. I'm sure they do to an extent. Ellie knows Joel killed everyone. Um, and Abby knows, you know, Ellie killed all... But Ellie knows... Yeah. Ellie knows that Abby killed Joel, obviously. Um, but even so, it's just... It's about why and... Oh, I just, I just wish there could have been a, 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 like a proper conversation, even if they had it right after that fight. I think, I don't know, it would have been good for Ellie because I don't think she, she got that closure at all. And then it does beg the question: What, where's Ellie going to go from here? Is she going to go back to Jackson? You know, Tommy's already unhappy. Not that it matters really, but Tommy. Um, wants her dead obviously but it's not really about that but Dean is basically just like I'm done I'm done trying to help because you can't get past it essentially um, but the game got a lot of hate and it was it wasn't like it, I don't think it was justified there was a lot of hate for the game it is, that is a fantastic game and I do encourage anyone who has played the first one and for some reason yet not bought or played the second one to give it a go. If for not anything else, the uh, the enemies that I talked about, the variants of the, the new enemies, and even that, that boss fight, Abby's uh, sequences, like her fight sequences and stuff, I thought was much better than what we had in the first half first third of the game. I'll break them up into thirds, yeah, so the first third was Ellie's five days and then Abby's five days and then that little bit at the end. Um, but Abby's bit was by far better because what I liked is that you got to see a ground zero like a hospital where the outbreak originally started and what would happen if you left uh, what is it would essentially be a bloater. That's as far as we know in terms of the life cycle of the infected is a bloater and then they become this amalgamation of loads of different ones all stuck together and looking pretty disgusting um, and that boss fight that was really cool there was a lot of good fight sequences the stealth was excellent you guys know I love stealth and I didn't really think about it when I talk a lot about how there's not as many stealth games I think it's I think the way I see it I'm just thinking about Metal Gear Solid and it's not really right but um the stealth in this was excellent. Same in the first game, it was very similar and it was very good. But they polished off a lot of the fighting mechanics and stuff in the, in the first game in here. And uh, but yeah, the the I don't know. I thought like the the environmental fighting, like when you punch, like when you're Abby and when you punch out guys and when you're Ellie with the knife and stuff. I don't know. Just the way it uses the environment in those situations, and it just nine times out of ten looks really fluid. It looks really fluid, especially with the the melee weapons and stuff like that. It just looks really, really fluid. I was talking about the animations earlier. Like it, it animates. It reloads one bullet if you're reloading one bullet, not six in a magazine like in in other games. And I just think the attention to detail is is brilliant. And don't get me wrong, they spent a long time, and you know, there's that whole thing with um, crunch. Like, and that's its own sort of separate thing which is if it's if that's you know, if that's how it went um, then obviously it's not right um, but in terms of what the game is as itself and what is produced it is a fantastic game I just do think that the uh, that there had to be some dialogue between Ellie and Abby. I just I, I'm very annoyed that we went back to find her, only to what is essentially have a little street fight in the in, in the, on the beach, and then for her to just go and then not even talk it out. I don't know. Is that I'm, I can't be the only one that thinks that is that's not right. I also. Am, glad that she didn't kill Abby because she would have become what she hates I think and 
her putting a knife to Lev. It's yeah, that's not that's not Elian. That's what this whole game's about. It's about sort of morality and about what's right and what's wrong, and how what's wrong in one set of eyes, Abby killing Joel. Um, to all of us, she's the enemy. And then you play through as Abby, and you see that Joel killed her dad because her dad was trying to create a vaccine to save the world through killing Ellie, of course, as we know. Um, but if some guy from Jackson or whatever killed your dad, you might do what Abby did. So it made it. It made you. It, the game's trying to make you re, like rethink how you should necessarily feel about what's right and what's wrong, and uh, and showing different opinions and different perspectives on stuff. But yeah, either way, uh, you don't um, you don't run people into the ground to finish a project. If if that's at all what happened in terms of the whole crunch thing, because that was a big. Obviously, that was a big sort of thing that tarnished um, this game it's apparent like, I don't know if that's actually the case or not but large reports and you guys know as well um, about the fact that the people who worked on the game were worked like so hard um, to like unhealthy points or whatever reportedly um, to get the game finished now that's not right in itself, and that 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 whether it's true or not, as again, I've not done enough research, I couldn't really say, but that does kind of take the shine off of what is a brilliant game. Do I like it better than the first game? I'm actually torn. I'm literally thinking about it, and I was probably going to say no. I'd probably just like it's, I thinking about it. I, I'm probably say the first one is my favourite, but not actually by that much. Not as much as I thought it would be anyway. I think I don't know. I felt I don't know. No, I, the first one is better for me. I preferred the first the first one because the emotional journey it takes you through is is a positive thing, and it's and that's all about the bond and the emotion that Joe and Ellie share with each other and how that comes about which is which is so good to watch and it's about you know how Joel who's become this stone figure ever since his daughter died almost got a second chance of having a daughter when Ellie came along and you see their growing relationship and it's beautiful and it's so good um, and that's a that's the positive sort of arc of the whole story whereas this game is not it's not showing that positive sort of arc, it's showing a, a, a negative arc, it's revenge. It's showing Ellie going out to do what she thinks is right. And I guess what, what a lot of people think is right because, you know, we love Joel. But then the game flip. it's just, um, yeah, it's, a, it's also a very difficult game to sort of watch. Because so many times in this playthrough, I've got, I've like turned my head away from... The, the such hyper realistic death sequences and the, the 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 final blows with like the melee weapons and killing the dogs and stuff like that. it's just it's a lot more brutal than the first game and I think just for me personally I I don't think I could handle playing say a lot of games were like this I couldn't play loads of those because it's quite just quite difficult to watch in a way isn't it this oh seeing Yara's arm get broke. Like there's so many moments that it's just like head turns that you just can't watch in this game. You know, it's meant to be like that. It's it's dark. It's naturally it's much darker, and it goes into some much deeper and like darker themes than the first game. As I said, I liked the whole Abby and Lev bit. I thought that was really good because it showed that it, the, well, the whole of Abby side showed the whole WLF versus the Scar faction fighting um, but it was really interesting to watch and play through the bit where Abby is trying to get Lev out and is essentially shooting people she knows 
um, to get her out, which I think is quite something. And when you know she's face to face with Isaac, that was really cool. I've got to say because, as I said earlier, I was just like, imagine, imagine trying to shoot like people that you see every day. Like not necessarily like family, but like acquaintances or, or friends even. And like they're all like, "What are you doing?" Da, 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 da. And you're just trying to defend this, what is essentially like a teenager, just stop them from dying because you know it's the right thing to do. And that's in her mind, it's the right thing to do to have helped Lev, who was a scar. And uh, I. As I say, it got through. It go takes you so many themes about right and wrong, and uh, a sort of Abby's thing was doing the right thing by this kid, this this person who's you know on the on the bad team, if you like, on the on the scar side. But they're people before before all this, before um, you know, before the factions and all that sort of stuff. Everyone is a person at their core. You know, obviously I'm taking it from the fact that Lev grew up during the outbreak or whatever. She would have... Lev would have been just a normal a normal teenager. And they're a person at the core before they're a Scar. And before she was a WLF member. Or even before she was a Firefly. She was just a person. So I think that's kind of like the message, isn't it? And she knew that like being a member of the WLF or whatever and killing those two scars is the wrong thing to do and I gotta say I enjoyed it like to play it I thought like the gameplay was just so much good yeah I think I've gone over it anyway um, but yeah is it my favourite game of 2020? I think Fall Guys is a <coughs> it's gotta get in it at the minute guys you know is it one of my favourite games of all time? I don't think of it like that, to be honest, and that's probably why, because I think of, when I think of my favourite games of all time, I think of Ocarina of Time, I think of uh, The Last of Us Part 1, um, I think of some others, but I don't know if I'll think of this. I think Ask Me in a Year uh, with that one. So those are my thoughts on The Last of Us Part 2. Let me know what you think thought about it, if you played it, if you watched it, if you watched my playthrough of it, thank you. Um and yeah. Will there be a will there be a part three? Who knows? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.